the one kicking the mess out of that wooden dummy. This may not be that normal of a scene for you. Or maybe it is, if you're into that martial artsy kind of stuff. Anyway, I'm not exactly what you'd call a normal martial artist. I'm what's known to the government as an ender, or at least I would be, if I was a part of their whole human enslavement thing. I guess I should explain. I've got superpowers. There's really no other way to explain it. And I don't mean superpowers like jumping into the air and screaming flame on at the top of my lungs and bursting into a supernova of unnecessary proportions. That's lame. I can do this, and this, and most importantly, this. Which is why my life is impossible. I'm not technically an ender. I'm a stray, which means I've ditched the government, and I'm hiding from the end, or enhanced neurogenetics division. Because of this, I don't get out much. Okay, I've gotten out a little bit, and it was pretty fun. Okay, I guess that wasn't exactly fun. It was not. Or that. Whatever, that's not the point. The point is that today, this day right here, was a day that I made sure I was getting out of the house. I just had to ask Keep my grandma. your legs then. Straight legs are broken legs if you land on them. Yeah. The one screaming at me to keep her knees up and all that other martial artsy mess. She's not really my grandma, I just call her that. My parents left me with her right before they disappeared, and she's taken care of me ever since. She used to be a part of that, she never told me about it, because she felt it was just right to keep it a secret. But don't get me wrong, she is the best grandma ever. She's kind, caring, and she makes the best pumpkin pies. Which is why I knew she'd understand if I asked her to get out of the house. And for Pete's sake, 16 years old is old enough to get out of the house for at least a cheeseburger. There was no way she could say no. No, I don't think so, Cat. Quite frankly, you're still a little eloquent to go out on your own. Not to mention the fact that you're still 16. Well, that's kind of my point, Grandma. I'm 16 and I haven't been out much. And besides, I'm pretty strong enough to take care of myself now. You've been training me since I was practically in diaper. Oh really? Then why don't you put your money where your mouth is? If you can beat me, then you can go out. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Pause. Rewind. Let me just explain one thing about my grandmother to you. My grandmother is never one to use violence to solve anything unless it's absolutely necessary. Ever. She's into things like peace and love and all that other hippie stuff. Why in the world she decided she was going to try and fight me for the rights to leave the house was beyond me. But I didn't question her. Any chance I could use to get out of the house, I was going to take it. or you'll get kicked in the face. <laughs> okay, Grandma, I get the fact that I lost. <laughs> no kidding. But do you think that I can maybe just go out this once? Maybe I could do some extra chores around the dojo. I barely do the ones you have now. It was just a suggestion. Look, cat, my work is final. I don't want you going out there on your own display, alright? And don't rush it. You'll be able to do your own thing soon enough. <sighs> Fine, I get it. No going anywhere at all. That's a good girl. Now go get some rest. You'll need it for what I have planned tomorrow. I wasn't even following along at home out there. You probably already knew what I was going to do. I was going to sneak out. I mean, come on. I had to go out and meet some people. There was no way I was going to die old and alone like some sad, creepy cat lady. No pun intended. 
That night was perfect. My grandmother had her own personal training session for herself every other night, so I had more than enough time to sneak out without her noticing. I couldn't have asked for a better opportunity. I made up my mind. I was getting out that night. I just needed to make sure everything went according to plan.